St. Helena. Nah. Why not? Napoleon died there. Are you serious? Wasn't that wallpaper poisoning? Oh, I don't know. Where is it? Mm, the South Seas. The South Seas? That's bloody miles away. I was thinking something more cheap and cheerful. Where can we go so we don't have to fly? Well, seeing as we live on an island, that kind of limits us to, well, Great Britain. No, oh, fuck off. It's not the 50s. I'll fly a little bit. Well, that leaves us with Europe, which you won't... Oh, I hate Europe. It's full of bloody foreigners. There it is. Are we talking about one foreigner in particular? I don't know what you're talking about. A twat of the French variety. Don't get me started on the French. <laughs> anyway, let's keep looking. What about Ibiza? Ibiza, then? No. No, no, it'll remind me too much of the past. OK, not Ibiza. Hang on, I quite liked it there. I can't cope. We've been doing this for hours. I'm serious. Come on, Jules. Ibiza. We had a great time when we was there last. Mum, I was 11. Kylie was still in the charts. You were... Uh, what's your tongue, Missy? You were younger, Mum. It's a fact. Oh, well. Let's not go on holiday. It's a cliche anyway. Everyone does holidays. Let's stay here and get an allotment. You have to be on a waiting list, Mum. Why well, ain't I surprised? Do you know, I was walking past the allotments down Park Crescent the other day, listened in over the bushes. Not one word of English. It'll be different now, though, after Brexit. You mark my words. Yes, I'm sure we can all rejoice in the return of our glorious rhubarb. Mm. What about Gemma? You heard from her. Where's she going? I've told you, I haven't spoken to Gemma. We don't talk. Yeah, but you must have heard something. She's your sister. And she's with your dad over in Bologna. Boulogne. Whatever. I suppose her rotten he does. I wouldn't know. Do us a favour, Jules, love. See if you can have a word with her on email or something. Try and weed out of her what he's been up to. Drives me nuts thinking of him cavorting about with that French tart. Mum, it's not healthy for you to obsess. Don't start that again, Jules. You have no idea what that man did to me. 20 years we had. He left me too, Mum. Yeah, it's not the same though, is it? You'd know if you ever had a boyfriend. You're getting worse. You need to do something rather than hang around the house all day obsessing on Dad. <laughs> Hang on. What are you up to? I am looking for adventure holidays. Dear God, no, Jules. Anything with adventure in the title ought to be avoided like the bloody play. It might be fun. Fun's the worst. What are you trying to do to me? I'm trying, really trying, to book a holiday for us, Mum. Yeah, but fun? Who the fuck does fun? You might want to run around with pedos on zip wires. <laughs> but I'm too... Old. I'm too sophisticated. See if you can book something that doesn't involve me having to get battered every night just to stay sane. Honestly, Jules, you're bloody awful. Sometimes you make me feel like I gave birth to a turd. Really, Mum? How about how awful is it that I've got to babysit you on holiday because Dad can't take you anymore? I've got to hold your hand because my dickhead sister is too selfish to call? It's just mugging, sat here listening to your bullshit night after night. Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit! Bullshit! You want to know what's bullshit, young lady? Still looking after your daughter when she's in her bloody twenties because she's too good to get a normal job down at Tesco or something. Someone with qualifications coming out of her arsehole, but too smart to lower herself to earn a crust. Sitting here, eating my cake, expecting someone to come and pay you to run off into the jungle looking at monkeys. Apes. Go and groom some fucking apes to feel all so good about yourself. Well, I have to work my pipe off at a job I can't stand just to keep a roof over our heads. And look after all your shit again. Sat here in this house, everywhere reminds me of him everywhere I bloody look. Alone. Jesus. I've got the rent money, Mum, if that's what this is about. It's not about the money. We were a family once. 
Even that's stupid on a DNI beefer. Why did he do it, Jules? Because he's an idiot, Mum. Yeah. Don't make it any easier, though, does it? No, no. Do you know? I hope that French tart of his gives him the crabs. <laughs> Don't you mean snails? <laughs> That's my daughter. What you mean, vaguely racist? The well, French aren't a race, Jules. They're white. Mum, not all French people are white. You know why I'm not doing this now. Let's get back to this. Sounds good to me. <sighs> Mother and daughter. Mm -hmm. There's a bond you can't break. <laughs> Tell me more about St Helena.